Prometheus is asking a lot of you who are anti Modi are just leftists. Oh, that's a that's what Prometheus is saying. Prometheus is putting that in quotation, so he's quoting other people. Uh, said Arm. Oh no, you're said, you're quoting me. Said Armin in last stream. Will Armin change his opinion on Modi's economic policies after the latest uh, Hindenburg report, which shows how Modi's close friend um, Adani has leveraged his power to compromise the entire Indian banking system and get billions of dollars of taxpayer money either th uh, through investments or loans? Okay, so this is a um, this actually <laughs> kind of hints that I was right because a little. Um, I know this is a stereotype, but it's true here, right? So I know, I, I'm not, I don't want to generalize. Um, leftists don't understand economy. <laughs> okay, so a lot of times what leftists do, again, I'm not saying this how big of a problem this is. This might be a big, a huge problem, a small problem, what Prometheus is saying, okay? But that's not, that's not a good way to judge whether the economy is moving in the right direction or not, okay? Um, you could find examples of really bad policies by government, but generally the policies could be in the right direction. But what leftists do is like, oh, look at this horrible decision that this person has made over here. And they're like, and they want to take a general like, conclusion out of that, make a, about the entire state of the economy. The truth is right now, Indian's economy is seems to be moving in the right direction. But if you want to criticize me, this is what you should be saying. Because you say, Armin, yes, India, the predictions for Indian uh, economy looks very bright. But you haven't looked into how much of that is because of Modi. That would be the fair criticism that you have. I just assumed, maybe wrongly, that there are all these good predictions about India's economy, you know, has maybe something to do with the recent policies by the government in India. I might be wrong about that. Okay. But given without that information, without looking into it, that's not a bad assumption. Okay. Maybe I'll correct myself once I do more research about it. Right. But again, what you are saying is one example of, I don't know, corruption or a bad deal. That is not how you judge the, the entirety of the direction of a country's economic policy and whether or not it's, it's, it's moving in the right direction or not. But let me see what you're saying. Um, saying but Modi is creating an, um, an ol oligarchy with this. Okay, well, I'll look more into what Modi is doing, but again, this still Prometheus still does not contradict. And I say this as a leftist myself, by the way. So, so this does not contradict that right now India seems to be moving in the direction to become an economic superpower. And our hatred for Modi should not make us you know, uh, ignore that. And we should be even happy about that. We shouldn't like, we, be careful and um, be careful. So that, because this would be good. I've seen many times in many countries, not just in India, where people who are against the politician cheer the economic failures of that politician. I'm not saying you're doing that here. Okay. But we should be hoping that Modi's government is making good economic decisions. Even if that means that he's going to become more popular and he we don't like him and his popularity would be, you know, something that we don't like, right? However, our major main concern should be the economic prosperity of people, right? And that, I mean, that takes priority over everything else, you know? So, and, I, and it looks like India, and eventually I think India, if the predictions are true about India's economic future, economic prosperity, not for the, as a per capita, not for the whole country, you know, but per capita usually leads to um, improve rights, you know, social democracy and secularism like that in the long run, not in the short term, right? So this is something that would be good. But again, I would look, um, at some point, I will do some more research into this because I do have some background in finance and economics, and I will see how 
uh, credible these predictions are and how much of that is thanks to Modi. Because it might not be thanks to Modi. It might be because um, it just India it just happens to be, um, you know, given the population that it has and given how m- more countries need to al- alternative trading partners, especially to China, this India is just po- population-wise, geographic-wise, um, and and, and po- you know, uh, and uh, geographic politics and uh, population-wise, it just happens to be exactly where it needs to be for a lot of trading partners to want to take advantage of that, and that would just lead naturally. Like maybe it's so it, India situation f- future is so bright. That even that even the worst politician can't screw it up. Maybe that's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Prometheus saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but Modi is not responsible for this. You do remember the farmer laws, which were against people's interests and were solely to benefit Adani. I I don't know how bad the farmers laws were because the farmers laws were moving in the direction of a more freer market. So again, people's interest, people's choice. Again, I, I don't I have to look into that more, right? That might have been actually a good decision. Uh, you do have you have to understand that people don't understand econ- economy. Something that is good for the farmers may not necessarily be good for India. So and people's interest does not necessarily mean that it's aligned with the economic interests of the country. So the farmers' laws that they were going with might have made the market a lot more competitive maybe it would have been for bad for the farmers but it would have lowered the prices and benefited the average indian right so when you say it were it was against people's interests no not necessarily it was against the farmer's interest but on average it might have been within the in line with the interest of your average indian all right but again so i'm not gonna go into more de- that requires more and anal- like deeper analysis before I, you could judge that i'm just saying that statement goes against people's interests that might necess- not necessarily be true okay uh saying no it was against consumers as well as farmers well i mean if the farmers can s- control the market and set the prices it doesn't go it was it was not necessarily within the interest of the consumers like wouldn't that, you know, if the farmers have so much control over the prices in the market, um, I don't know how that's how how that benefits the consumers. Again, I need to look more into this to, to be able to judge. I, I can't just like take your word for it. Yeah, somebody is saying uh, farm farm laws were good according to Western reports. Yeah, which uh, yeah. Well, I have to look into it. Oh my God! Somebody saying Prometheus is basically a Muslim. What the hell? No, that's weird. You, that's a weird claim. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.